congratulations sa pagganap niya sa dalawang movie ninyo. Now, um, I know there's if, if, if you put it into words, the movies that you've done has political color. No? Um, and it's also somewhat retelling history. When you first heard that you're going to be part of your movie, did you have hesitations on accepting the role? Can you tell us why? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, the comment ko dyan, actually, the reason why I, I accept the project, because mm-hmm. yeah, it is direct joy lang and of course, as an actor, you just portray the role. So, para sa akin personally, wala po akong talagang ka-interest interest on that political issues when something like that. Kung anong color, you know what. I'm just doing my job as an actor. At uh, kung ano man yung, kung ano man yung uh, sinasabi nila na this is their truth, I'll respect that. Yes. I respect ako yan kasi sa kanila yan eh. But, when it comes to mag comment about sa politics, wala po. Wala akong words tungkol dyan. Kasi I will never ever na magka-interest sa mundong yan. So, How about you, Kasi? <laughs> um, well, to be honest po, I was very, very, very hesitant to accept the role mm-hmm. but I don't know for me I realized po na it's it's also a challenging role and a challenging project to be a part of kasi nga po, um, it's politics mm-hmm. and for me for um, siguro for my image it's quite kumbaga medyo nakakagulat na I tapped into that world mm-hmm. but as for me, I'm I'm very respectful. I respect everyone's opinions. I'm not um, like I'm not um, I'm not really forcing anyone to, to switch sides or something like that. Again, I just wanted to be a part of the film, or I took interest in it because of my character story. And because in character, she has a very important message to put out there now it's very near and dear to my heart it's a message that i've been wanting to put out myself but i didn't have an opportunity to so ayun when i received um the inquiry for this movie my character description nagyes agad ako as in yes right away but then yun nga there was a side na it's a political film so yeah. you know um but i don't know i really I'm, I, all I can say is I'm proud of what I've done in this movie, and I hope that everyone can be respectful then about it. So, ayun. Happy lang guys. Chill lang guys. <laughs> Yun lang po. Not to put you on. Well, wala na yata. But not to put you on. But, but are, are your characters based on real life people? And, uh, um, base po sa uh, writer namin. Uh, collectives po siya sa mga tao na naka-experience mismo sa uh, nung time ng people power. So, yun po. Based siya sa true events then. Yeah. How about your character, Cassie? Sa akin po, a fictional character. Mm-hmm. Although, yung character ko represents another, siguro, issue. Mm-hmm. So, that's why, yun nga po, that's why I accepted the role because, mostly because of that. So, a fictional character, but related in a way sa siguro storyline. But yeah. Alright, thank you so <laughs> much. Ang hirap ba ng question? Thank you. Okay. Alright, um, my next question is, of course, uh, sa inyong tatlo, uh, well, first kay uh, David Mona and uh, Shira. Uh, Shira, nakita mo na sa silver screen yung eksena na ni David. The mature part of it. How did you take that? Uh, yung yung pag nakita mo na siya sa sinehan mismo. Uh, Paras kami nakatakip na. <laughs> Paras kami nakaganan. 
Kasi hindi ako sa na, naiya ako. Naiya ako mm. sa, kasi syempre doon yung family ko, yung friends ko. Yes. And yung mga boss, uh-huh. sa likod, sila Miss Joy sabi, Hoy, Shaira, ano yun? Sabi mga, <laughs> pag gano'n sila, so medyo naiya ako kasi hindi ako sanay na, yung gano'n niya. Kasi mm-hmm. first, first, uh, first matured role ko siya. And, yes. Uh, very challenging siya. Pero at the same time, parang somehow, syempre happy ako na, uy, sa wakas, nalampasan ko na to yung, nalampasan ko na tong uh, um, face. Yeah, face na to ng, uh, ng career ko. Okay mm-hmm. na. Tapos nagawa ko siya uh, with my, eto, yung unang-una kong uh, kalawking talaga. Yung partner ko sa GMA with David pa and na very com- uh, comfortable ako katrabaho. So, mm-hmm. happy ako. Pero nangyibabo yung Yee! Sorry mama! Yung gano'n. <laughs> Kasi medyo yun nga. Okay. Um, David, your reaction on the scenes that you did? Uh, uh, Ganda. Uh, totoo, literal. <laughs> Tapos kahapon kasama ko pa yung mom ko nanood ng block screening. Yeah, so, oh nga pala. Uh, one of the topics that I did on uh, your interview with the last time is that your mom didn't really approve of you doing yeah. the role. Mm-hmm. How did she feel after she saw it? Actually, kasi marami nang kinat na mm. kinat na scenes. Siguro kung kung di kinat yung mga scenes na yun, baka um, di na ako pinapasok ng bahay. <laughs> <laughs> so yun na, actually, medyo, di naman siya masyadong um, masyadong sexy. I mean, mm. sexy siya, mature siya, pero like yung kung ano yung dapat, medyo medyo yun, medyo grabe talaga yun. <laughs> so, Okay lang naman. I mean, nagawa na namin, tsaka comfy naman ako. Mm-hmm. Medyo may mga scenes na doon na medyo naka-makes yung shorts ko na parang, ay! Mm-hmm. Ay! <laughs> Ganun. Tapos parang, ay! Nako! Ganun. Okay. Yeah, pero, okay naman. Alright. Thank you. Um, Luis, of course, uh, uh, medyo wala ka nung sa press conference. I think you were uh, doing something. Yes, I was at the Okay. Okay. Um, to to ask you also the, the things that we asked during that press, press conference. Um, are you into open relationships? And what are your thoughts on it? Um, right now, I'm in a relationship. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I haven't experienced uh, open relationship. But I think if I was single, and then I'm uh, ako dito kung open, uh, kung If I'm willing, yes. I think it depends on the partner or partners. Because mm-hmm. if you say open relationship, uh, it's very complex. Eh? There are mm-hmm. people who are monogamous. There are people who are mga polyamory yeah. who are willing to engage in multiple partners. So it's a very complex and complicated type of relationship which uh, kailangan natin ng sobrang open mindedness mm-hmm. and uh, polyamory, uh, open mindedness and you kailangan may mutual understanding talaga setting up of boundaries just like any other normal relationship but in a more ano lang talaga tedious yung work for all partners in, uh, involved do you I think know. it's a silly excuse for cheating? Uh, no uh, it's a case to case basis eh mm-hmm. kung yung cheating is done when you're in a relationship that's completely cheating whether emotional, physical cheating is cheating pa din pero Kung wala naman talagang labels and both parties agree na they only uh, engage in physical relationship, no strings attached, no romantic uh, feelings involved, then I guess anything goes, di ba? As long as pinagkakasundoan ng dalawang tao. Because who are we to, do- to judge? Maybe yung tao lang talaga hindi uh, willing or at the moment na mag-engage sa romantic relationship kasi hindi niya mapapangalaga dahil may trabaho, may career, whatsoever, may family problem, and dami pwedeng factors na kailangan i-consider. So, yeah. Alright. Thank you so much for thank your you. honesty. Uh, thank you. Sir John, thank you. So, let's, uh, we're hoping na sana nga tuloy-tuloy ito at makakabaw nila. Yun din ang pinipray din yung lahat. Yes. Uh, um, Shaira, na sa, sa um, press con, bumenta na yung sinasabing good kisser or sabi ni ano nagreact pa si ano si ee <laughs> ano sabi niya nakita mamaya pa lang namin papanood <laughs> pero sabi eh, eh, ko pero hindi nakarating sa kanya yung uh, mga nasulat na good kisser kagaraw feeling 
ko ano naman, sabi niya? Feeling ko naman po, nakita niya po yun kasi nire-repost ko po lahat ng uh, mga articles from the media. Um, pero wala naman po siyang reaction sa ngayon. Pero very understanding naman po si EA and very supportive naman po din talaga siya. So wala naman akong problema doon, I guess. Pero yun, uh, uh, mamaya niya palang makikita. Pero na-explain ko na sa kanya lahat. Sorry ko. <laughs> Baba, huwag ka lang kaya manood. <laughs> Ganyan ko na siya. Pero alam ko naman na maintindihan niya. Pero uh, like uh, we said, ano naman eh, uh, work lang talaga yun. Work is work and professional naman kami pagdating sa mga ganong bagay na medyo masiselan. And syempre, we respect yung ano, kung syempre, in a relationship ako and si, si David, alam ko naman yung respeto niya yon So, yes po, sabi ko na lang talaga, huwag nila siya manood. Uh -huh. Pero gusto niya po daw talaga subotahan eh. Uh -huh. Oo. Pero, I understand friends sila ni A.A., di ba? Yes Saka po, si David. parang mas sila. Oo, oh, parang mas nakakaasiwa ba pag ganyan na friend ng jowa mo, yung kaeksena mo? Ganun din kay David, pero medyo naasiwa ka rin ba? Ikaw muna siya eh. Ako? Ah, parang hindi naman po. Oh. Ah, hindi naman. Parang, parang mas komportable pa nga. Yes. Na Actually, kasi mas nauna kaming maging mag-friends ni David eh. Ah. Mas una kaming nagkakilala before sila magkatrabaho. I mean, ah. maraming beses na kaming nagtrabaho before sila magkatrabaho sa Heartful Cafe. So, para sa akin, hindi naman siya nakakailang o nakakaasiwa. <clears throat> komportable ako sa kanya sobra eh. So, alam naman din ni EA yun. Yes, uh, David, may dagdag ka doon. Medyo ay asiba factor ba pag ganyan? Pag friend mo yung yung boyfriend ni ng kaeksena mo? Well, I mean, I try not to think about it kasi kung magkatrabaho, uh -oh. trabaho eh. Saka, I think si EA naman naiintindihan niya kasi I feel like he would do the same. Kumbaga, kung na-offeran din siya ng rari ganitong role, kahit na rin siya um, girlfriend, I'm sure natatanggapin niya kasi actor din siya eh. So, yun yun eh. Siguro kung nari, like in a different setting, kung nari yung girlfriend mo is non-showbiz, baka mas hindi niya maintindihan. Kasi, kumbaga hindi naman siya actress, eh. hindi naiintindihan yung art behind it eh. But then, you know, luckily si eh, actor, kaya okay lang naman. Oh, Ang dami na nakahal.